Malcolm first trip to Big Ten meetings. What do you think of this so far? Oh, it's great, man. It's a humbling experience. You know, I've never I've never been to Chicago. I've been to I've been to Champaign. I've been to Evanston. But you know, to be in a great city like Chicago is definitely humbling. And and to be picked to to uh, represent Penn State, you know, it's it's definitely a great experience. It's been experience, man. It's a lot of questions thrown at you every every which way. So it's been a good experience. I'm really enjoying it. It's it's fun being out in Chicago. It's nice. A lot more laid back. Really? Talking to some of my favorite media people answering some football questions. I even get a few math questions here and there. Hanging out with Glenn and Malcolm, Coach OB, it's a good time. I heard you guys were doing a little bit of a math competition on the plane this morning, a little game you were playing on Yeah, yeah, it was, it was fun. That? You know, Everyone was doing pretty good. I was impressed with uh, Glenn and Malcolm's math talents. Man, I'm sweating over here, man. You know, I don't, I don't know what's going on with me. I, I get nervous in front of the camera, but you gotta perform. I don't, I don't think it's unusual. Uh, we have two quarterbacks at uh, uh, Penn State this year that, are, that will compete for the, the starting job, Tyler Ferguson and Christian Hacker. Obviously, you go through your first year as a head coach, you learn so many so many different things, and you're learning every day. Oh, God. Oh, gee. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah no, no <laughs> question. No doubt about that. Coach, do you mind just saying your name in school for the audio check, please? Bill O'Brien, Penn State. This show is all about the Nittany Lion community giving back and making a difference on campus and around the world. Offensively, we have Allen Robinson back, the best receiver in the Big Ten last year. Looking forward to seeing what he can do this coming year. Yeah, we, we've been eager for about two, two and a half months now, you know, ever, ever since spring ball stops and you get about a week off. Once you get that week off, you're ready to go again. So, you know, we, we're, really, we're really looking forward to August 4th and, and moving in for camp and, and to, get, to get that first practice on our belt. We've got an offensive line who has a lot of talent, and we also have a lot of depth. We've got a lot of good guys who have played a lot of football, and we've been playing together for a while. You know, I've been a little linebacker for two years now, so, you know, I've been leading defense, calling plays, making checks, calling calls and stuff like that, so it's a pretty easy transition for me. I love our, I love our depth now. Everybody everybody used to say that we didn't have any depth now. We, we have a lot of numbers back there, and, and everybody's capable of, of doing great things back there. We all, we're, all being, we're all capable of being playmakers, and, and, you know, we're looking for big things this year. Anything you want to do in Chicago while you're here? Um... <laughs> I actually, actually want to want to meet up with uh, with Suey and Astorino. You know, they, they texted me and said they wanted to meet up. So I haven't seen those guys in about a year and a half. So it'll be good to catch up with those guys.